Hi, I'm Dr Nick and this is a short explanation of a whole class activity that teaches same and different using Dragonistics data cards. In this um, activity, each child, and we're just going to have three children here for now, but we have a whole class, each child has two cards. And um, you call out one of the attributes, so we could use the attribute cards for this. And so if it's same, they're going to do one symbol which might be standing up. And if it's different, then they might sit down. So you've got action there, or you could have that they hold both cards up if they're same, or if they're different, they hold up the larger one, if it's a number one. So here we've got colour, so <clears throat> our little friend here is the same, so they might put them, they'll stand up. These ones are different, so she sits down and she sits down. Okay, and we turn over the next one is gender. So these two are different, so they sit down. These two are the same, oh, so it stands up. And these two are the different, so stays sitting down. And behaviour, so same, stands up, different, sits down, different, sits down. So oh, this person here has managed to stay seated the whole time. Then you go through and, and you could, obviously wouldn't use name order, but age. And you're not going to get age the same, so when you get them different they could say which one's bigger. Um, height, they're not likely to be the same either, so when, you, when they find they're all different, they can talk about how different they are, hold out which one's the highest, those sorts of things. Same with strength. Horns, can we, do, we can do same and different, and breath, we can do same and different. Once you've done a few turns, you can then swap the dragons over so that children have got different ones to work with, because otherwise it gets a bit boring.